Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So general themes for, for this week seem to be after the FOMC last week uh, with Yellen's slightly more dovish statement uh, that the dollar has kind of dropped down and that in itself has given a kind of carte blanche for the markets to kind of rally up that little bit higher. The Chinese markets do much better than expected for, uh, for March versus February and the US 30 has just gone great guns and has been shooting up higher. UK market is certainly not that, uh, not that strong. It's really kind of struggling a little bit but uh, I think the US market now is to begin to get, get get ramped back up again. We're not really that far away from the all-time highs that I had. It's had a fantastic run. Um, we're also getting quite close to reporting season, so uh, stop buybacks in the US will be taking a little bit of a back seat, so they, uh, there will be actually uh, a block on that for a little while. And um, when we have a look at it from a technical analysis perspective on the US 30, from when we had the double bottom, we pretty much hit our uh, projected price target at the moment. So with no stop buybacks and only the retail uh, investors able to uh, fuel this rally, there's big question marks over how much further it's actually going to go ahead and go. Uh, but obviously it depends on the earnings that come out. Um, from the US market on the back of that as well. So in general, the FOMC um, dovishness is helping to give a fresh injection into the global economy. It's not filtering through to every single region because a weaker US dollar isn't actually necessarily better for the Eurozone. So there is question marks over what uh, Mario Draghi is gonna do next to help to boost um, the flagging uh, euro because if the euro is much stronger versus the dollar that's actually going to be hurting exports from uh, from Europe as well so uh, we could still be in the middle and the cusp of some sort of kind of currency wars uh, between the Japanese yen the euro and the US dollar so interesting times ahead no doubt but let's go ahead and have a look at things from a technical analysis perspective as well okay so as ever this is where we are with the US 30 as you can see it's just had a fantastic run uh, Friday was, was good, Thursday was obviously pretty good after, the, after that FOMC session. 86% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. The slow stochastic massively overbought, other technicals relatively neutral. Um, you are still looking at the tips of these candles here as being the next potential uh, resistance. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and add that on there because I think it's, uh, it's, it's worth us thinking about. You could be looking at around about 17,979 as being the next potential resistance. We are in the middle of two ranges right now. Basically, the US 30 is in the middle of no man's land right now. But uh, in the absence of any negative news, it's just slowly grinding higher. Uh, and uh, I don't think we've necessarily reached the, the top end of that opportunity. But there could be lots of volatility in the meanwhile and between these two ranges. So then looking at the UK, 100, 50, 50, seems to be Marcus clients currently long versus short. Uh, not quite so bullish, it's pretty pathetic actually versus the, the, the rally you've seen in the US 30. Uh, Brit exit still weighing quite heavily on here. Uh, you do have a sell signal on the slow stochastic and a crossover on the MACD. In between two ranges, 60, 70 could be the next potential support. Then moving quickly on to Japan, 225. It's also struggling to move that little bit higher. That's five days negative in a row. Lots of volatility we saw after the FOMC on Thursday. Uh, we're in between two moving averages. 21 period SMA potentially adding support. 16.384 being the next potential support level to be aware of. 61% of CMC Marks clients are currently long Japan, 225. And we do have a crossover on the Slotocastic and just about to get a crossover on the MACD. So not as bullish as the US markets. Moving on to dollar yen and uh, there does seem to be a little bit of support close to uh, this double bottom here at uh, 111 spot 06 and change. Um, actually, it's on the wrong side of 111 spot 61 at the moment, uh, with 110 being the next potential support level. Moving on to crude oil West Texas, 62% uh, uh, of CMC Marks clients currently short. We had a reversal there on Friday as uh, rig data came out, shows a lot more rigs than expected. Looking for exploration uh, and has followed through with a little bit of negativity today, um, a rejection of $40. We could see uh, a potential drift back down towards 20, potential support at 37 spot 59. Looking at gold, um, gold failing to capitalize on that weaker US dollar. Uh, lots of ugly long legged candles right here. Seems to be about 1269. There is a lot of selling interest uh, helping to keep push, uh, push gold back down. Um, we are on the wrong side of that 21 period SMA today. Close could be quite interesting. 75% of CMC Marks clients are currently long. And finishing up with Euro dollar and GBP USD. Euro dollar looks to be almost having a little double top right here. Uh, the tip would be one spot 13.85. Longer term potential resistance, one spot 14.89. Uh, a bit of a reversal on uh, Friday, a little bit lower this morning. 74% of CMC Marks clients are currently short. Almost got a negative signal on the uh, slow stochastic and the other technicals are relatively neutral. 
And uh, where we are on the UK 100, we had a great obviously, day of, after the FOMC on Thursday, and a little bit of a failure to capitalise. So one spot, 43.52. Uh, if we see drift, could be the next potential support. 69% of CMC market clients are currently short. So we finish up there with the market calendar. Uh, we do have existing home sales and uh, consumer confidence flash, uh, basically CCI data due later on today. Tomorrow, we do have lots of PMI data from market, uh, the business survey IFO data as well, and the ZDW business report, very important for Germany. And then on Wednesday, you've got new home sales and the petroleum uh, crude oil stocks inventory data, which will be great for West Texas crude. Well, guys, that's it for me. Very good luck with your trading and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye.